Hey guys, Cam Ken Drum here. Welcome to episode four of Quality Control, a product review series by me, Cam Ken Drum. If you saw my last review, I reviewed the Promark Transport Deluxe Stick Bag. There were some good and some bad things about it, but ultimately I couldn't use it because the handles don't fold back. When I put it on the floor toms, the handles get in the way when I want to go and hit the floor tom. So it was totally unusable for me. I'm going to be giving it away. If you didn't see my video on my giveaway, my newest giveaway, I'll put a link to it. You can check that out where I'm going to be giving that bag away as well as one of the other two bags that just came that I'm going to be reviewing in this video. So I'm going to turn the camera around, show them to you, and let's start this product review of the other two bags that I got. All right, here we go. Those are the three bags. The one on the left is the Promark Transport Deluxe that I have already reviewed that I'll be giving away. The one in the center is the Ahead Armor drumstick bag. And the one on the right is the Tama Power Pad Design Collection Series stick bag. That one's a, a mouthful. Right off the bat, the, the ones on the ends are the ones that I like aesthetically, the way that they look. The Promark bag, I really like the way that it looks. And I actually really like the handles. They're magnetic, so they kind of click together. I really like that feature. I just wish that they would fold down so that they were out of the way. But there are all other drawbacks to that bag that I don't necessarily recommend. And of the three, uh, that would be in last place. This Tama bag, I really, really, that's probably my favorite as far as looks go. I love the color scheme. I love the, this isn't actually leather, it's kind of like a felt, I guess. And then I love the, the beige going on here, like all the different accents. And I love how the branding is not very loud. It's stylish. The branding actually, it doesn't, you can't really even tell that it's a Tama product. But what you can see is the actual series, Power Pad Designer Collection. That's kind of what they're branding more than Tama, which I, I, I like. I like that approach. So all in all, this one wins as far as looks. But, you know, it's not about looks when it comes to holding your sticks. It's all about the, the utility, the, the function, function over form when it comes to holding your sticks and carrying them all over the place and stuff like that. So while I do love the way this looks and the ahead, obviously, it's not a bad looking stick bag. I love the gray trim or silver or whatever you want to call it and the all black. I'm always a fan of black. But if I turn this thing around, you've got that ahead and it's kind of actually pretty boring. Reminds me more of like a baseball bag. Now that I think of it, I wonder if ahead makes baseball equipment. In any case, it's definitely by far the least attractive, at least to me, of all of the criteria that goes into uh, my review and my grade, looks is probably going to be at the, the lowest uh, priority. So thought I'd get that out of the way and go into actually testing these two out because I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm pretty sure one of these is going to be the winner, meaning I'm going to keep one of these. I've already sort of tested this one out because this one came a couple days ago. This one just came today, so I haven't tested this one out yet, but I did open it and I did feel around a little bit and I can tell that this one is, is, is a good bag too. They're both good bags, both better than this bag, and both probably better than the DW bag. So let's get into these two bags, and I think what I'm going to do, actually, if you haven't checked out my interview with Earl, I just did an interview two days ago. Earl did a live stream, and I was on his live stream. Earl Bennett, I'm sure you guys know. So I'm going to put a link to that video. Check that out. We were talking about reviewing products. We were talking about drums, talked about my uncle, talked about a lot of stuff. We were there. I was there for almost two hours. So we talked about a ton of that stuff. It's a really cool video. Just wanted to plug that before we actually get into it. But one of the details that I said in his video was that both of us, we don't really, we kind of just fly off the cuff. We don't prepare uh, what we're going to say or what we're going to do on the videos and whatever. We don't have like a really general direction for our channel. We kind of just do whatever we feel is fun for us and hope that it's fun and entertaining for you guys. So with that said, I didn't have any pre-planned notions or pre-scripted ideas or whatever on how I was going to about reviewing these bags. In actuality, I, I intended to just do them both at the same time, but I think 
What might be better is if I take one bag, go through it, and then go with the other bag afterwards. I'm gonna start with the ahead bag, or actually I'll start with the Tama bag because I kind of went through everything already and I kind of know all of the, the good and the bad with this bag. So let's put those two aside and we are gonna focus on this Tama power pad. As you can see the branding right there. It's got two pockets. So it's got a top pocket and it has, or actually this might be more referred to as a side pocket. And this is the top pocket. So you got a big pocket where you can put a bunch of stuff in there, metronome, maybe a notepad or whatnot. And then a side pocket for whatever you can think of. I mean, if you're a traveling drummer, you can put your passport and your wallet in there. Two very good pockets. A nice handle that I know for sure is not gonna get in the way. That's eliminated right off the bat. And I'm gonna open this up. And you can take a look at it. And you can see here's another pocket. This is more of a mesh grid pocket. Probably put your wallet in there as well. Uh, maybe some moon gel, a bunch of utility things, maybe uh, some felts or whatnot. And then you have two little inserts here for pens or pencils. And then you got a Velcro pocket. Uh, we all know how easy it is to lose drum keys. This, this is actually a really good pocket for a drum key. Keep it nice and secure right there. And then, I'm not sure if I can really execute this well, but there you go. You can see there's two pockets right there. So you can actually put, I don't know, maybe like your primary sticks in these pockets. And that's the same on this side, two pockets. And then right here, the main pockets, you can see have a lot of space. There's a lot more space in these two pockets than uh, in the Promark bag. And then you've got your straps here for the floor toms. And you can see the, there's the uh, clips right there. So the next thing I think I'm gonna do, oh, and let's, uh, but there you go. There's a shoulder strap that comes with it. So that's probably what those clips are for in, on the back. Yeah, I would imagine. One clips here, and depending on your preference, you can clip the other side to either one of these two. So that is, in a nutshell, what it, what it looks like empty, the Tama. Next, I'm going to clip it onto the Toms and fill it up with sticks. Okay, here we go. Here are my Toms. Here's my stick bag. And I'm gonna take this clip and I'm probably going to try to put it onto there. So let's see if this works. Okay, that's hooked on there. Let's see if I can get this one onto there. All right, so I got it. I needed two hands. Sorry, I'm not as handy as I thought I was, but there it is, clipped nice and secure. There's about two inches of clearance from the ground. So that's good. I don't want this to be dragging on the, on the floor. Here we have maybe a slight oversight where the end of the, the zipper kind of hangs over. On the surface, I don't think this is gonna be a huge deal, but anything that you can do to improve your product is gonna give you the advantage, right? So if they were able to somehow keep this from flapping over, there would be absolutely no way for this to get in the way when you're playing live and you're needing to blindly go down and pick up sticks, right? There's probably a 0.0001% chance that you go down and you, you know, try to bring a stick up and it snags on this thing and your stick goes flying and you get frustrated at the bag. Probably a very, very small chance, but there's a chance. And so why have this when there's a chance that it could possibly backfire? Try to find a way to uh, get this out of the way. So that's me griping. Obviously, I don't think it's gonna affect too much uh, with my decision with the bag, but it's just something that, you know, uh, if I'm gonna be reviewing, 
I'm going to be reviewing every single thing that um, comes into mind, whether it's good or bad. Uh, here's a good thing, right? Handles are not in the way. They're easily tucked away. Uh, they don't get in the way in the first place. But even if they did, I can easily put them out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to start filling them up with sticks. All right, there's my arsenal. Those are my tools that I would most likely be taking if I were gigging or touring. So let's see if all of these things fit into this uh, stick bag. So I'm gonna take a seat here and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Let's zoom out all the way actually. I love this uh, iPhone camera. I'm sure it's not as good as the Samsung, but it's uh, good enough. Okay, so on the left, I have my auxiliaries. On the right, I have all my sticks. Right now, these are what I've been playing with. If you've seen them, uh, actually, <laughs> it's funny. I've recorded a bunch of covers and haven't released any of them yet, but I've been using these sticks for the past, like maybe four or five sessions. They are the Promark Rebound 5B with the uh, black active grip. I'm not so sure I'm a fan of the grip. Uh, I would say about 60% of the time it comes in handy and about 40% of the time it gets in the way. Anyways, lighting is bad. Please forgive me. But here is the, uh, the big pocket. And then I showed you before that there's the, the smaller pockets down here. I'm going to put, these are my primary sticks right now. So I'm going to put them in the, the front bag, front pocket. These obviously are still brand new. Uh, so I'm going to put them in the reserve. I'm going to call this the reserve pocket. I don't know if Tama actually named their compartments, but I'm going to be naming, naming them just for the sake of making it easier to tell you guys where I'm putting stuff. Another brand new pair of sticks that goes into the reserve pocket. And you can see there's a lot of space, a lot of room going on here. Here's another new pair. So I got three new pairs. They won't be new for long, that's for sure. I have my uh, Vader Extended Play Power 5Bs that I did a review on. I'll put a link for that video. I'm not a huge fan, as you can see. I've had these for a while now, and I haven't really used them all that much. They're kind of more, for me at least, they're a good practice stick because they're thick, they're heavy. Uh, you can really get warmed up with these. Yeah, as far as playing around the drum set, not a huge fan. So I'm going to put these off to the side on this reserve, reserve pocket, I'm going to call it. Uh, okay, so moving on, uh, let's get my mallets. Put my mallets in here in this reserve, reserve, since I hardly ever use them. I hardly ever use my brushes because I like to think that I'm a, a, a jazz guy, but uh, really I'm not. So I have brushes, but I barely use them. And then these brush sticks, which there are a handful of covers that I want to do that use the brush sticks. I've only used them maybe once or twice on covers before. So out of the uh, effects sticks that I have, these are the ones that I probably use the most. But I still... Mallets, brush sticks, brushes probably account for 5% of my playing. Here are my ahead drumsticks. These I hardly ever use too, but once in a while I'll pull them out just to have a different feel. And then I have my Vader Power 5Bs. So that um, link that I put for the uh, extended play, I also review these and the ahead sticks. You should check that video out. It's pretty cool. Not to toot my own horn or anything. But anyways, so all of those sticks fit. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs of sticks. And they fit with plenty of room to spare. I mean, plenty of room. I can probably put twice that amount into this bag. So as far as utility goes, I mean, this thing can hold a ton of sticks. It can also most likely hold all of this stuff. I've got my earbuds case. I got my moon gel. I got my zoom iq6 that goes uh straight into the iphone you know it's got decent sound it's probably better for demoing stuff or even um you know if you want to record your voice uh doing some sort of narration or whatnot i should probably be using this now i'm just using the regular uh iphone microphone 
which isn't bad in its own right. I got my polish, which uh, this isn't an, an essential. This wouldn't come with me. Uh, and I'm actually going to be doing a review on this as well. So that will be in the next quality, uh, quality control episode. And then of course my handy drums, uh, drum key, which will go into that Velcro pocket right there. So all of that stuff would definitely fit, plus all of these sticks and even more. And then you've got the pockets back here as well that I showed you before. So this stick bag, oh, and the way that these clip on, I, I don't know if I'm really a fan. I'm not a huge fan of metal on metal, to be honest with you. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. I hope uh, that it doesn't cause any sort of rattling, but if I can get close enough, and <laughs> again, it's black on black, so you can't really see, but this clip is rubbing up against the finish of the drum. I don't think I'm a fan of that at all. I don't know if you can see it better over here. I'll try to get a good angle, but yeah, this, this is rubbing up against the finish of the drum and this is metal. Just me being cautious, it makes me feel weary of this whole thing, this setup right here. But again, I don't think it's gonna be that huge of an issue. The only time it would ever be an issue is if I was playing and this was rattling because it's metal on metal or metal up against finish. So yeah, that that's my only concern. That would be a medium issue. This right here that I was talking about earlier, this is a very, very light issue, but that's more of a concern. You hear that? That's me barely putting any pressure and there's a tapping going on. So will it rattle? Will it vibrate? Probably not. But that's me in this studio playing drums only. If I was on stage and there were subwoofers and there was a bassist or organ or piano with really low notes that reverberated, that might be an issue. So for you touring, gigging drummers, this might be an issue that could cause some rattling. And you know, any type of rattling is, is pretty annoying. So anyways, let's, let's go ahead and try to rate or grade this bag. As far as looks go, it's the best one. As far as holding sticks go, it's definitely better than the Promark. It's better than the DW. I think I'm gonna grade these two bags individually, not up against each other. And then once I'm finished with the whole thing, I'll decide whether which one is better for me and give away the other two. So as far as this bag individually, it looks great. It has a lot of space. It does everything I need as far as holding the sticks, I can easily put them on the toms. There's not much getting in the way. So I think I would rate this stick bag, the Tama Pro Pad, no, Power Pad, sorry, Tama Power Pad Designer Collection Series stick bag. Gotta make sure I get that all in there. I would rate this probably a solid B. It's a good bag. I think I would definitely use this over the DW. I think it's a little bit more sturdy. It looks a lot better and it has more compartments. Definitely, definitely better than the Promark. So unless the Ahead stick is better, I will be keeping this one, giving the Promark away no matter what. All right, so let's go, uh, uh, let's go on to the Ahead drumstick bag. Uh, I'm gonna take all this stuff out again. And uh, we'll start over with bag number two. All right, here we are. The Ahead Armor Stick Bag. And here, this is me trying to be cinematic. And I think I got the camera upside down. Anyways, that doesn't matter. We have the Ahead Armor Stick Bag. Oh yeah, they do this type of thing, right? Where they zoom in and they pan up and down. So you get a nice close up. I should have probably done that with the uh, Tama as well. All right, so zooming back out, we've got one big pocket on the front. Let's see if I can get this with one hand. There we go, I, I got the knee right there to help me out. And we've got a shoulder strap, so that's cool. Uh, let's see how big this pocket is. It's a big, pretty big pocket. Opens up about halfway. Um, it spans, oh, I'd say a good 
at least three quarters of the length of the entire bag. So you can put a bunch of stuff in here. Here we go. My favorite. One of the things I really liked about the Promark bag was this bungee cord that hooks onto the toms. This is plastic. I don't think you can tell from the video, but this is plastic. It's definitely a lot cheaper than the metal from the Tama, and it's got harder edges. So while the Tama was a metal clip, everything was, was rounded. Even though it was up against the Tom, I don't think it would actually really mark it up at all or scratch it. Only thing I was worried about more is uh, rattling going on. Now this is plastic and it's got harder edges, especially this thumb, whatever you call it. It's got pretty hard edges. So if this were up against the drum, I would be afraid that this would scratch it. But we'll see when I uh, put it up. But it's got the bungee cord, which I absolutely love. This looks like a clip for the shoulder strap. And uh, as far as the way it's made, it feels pretty nice. This was $29.99. The Tama, I believe, was $34, $35, something like that. So a $5, $6 difference. I'm going to open this up. Right away, we see that a head branding, which is pretty dated. I mean, you're going back to like the 80s here or maybe 90s. Very simple. They probably spent very little time on branding. But you can see right here, we got a Velcro pocket, see-through. You can put all kinds of things in here. Uh, drum keys, felts, cymbal sleeves, cords for your more traditional snares. And then uh, right here, you've got a big, big pocket, big front pocket, another big front pocket on this side. On the left, ooh, it's got this nice, uh, soft, velvety feeling fabric back here that's kind of nice but I, i'm pretty sure once your sticks get nice and uh, tattered up all the uh frayed wood or whatever the term is all the wood particles that come off your sticks are going to be like nice and stuck in here so although this is this seems nice in theory this will get pretty messy pretty quickly so <laughs> Uh, a wash, I, I want to say, with this right here. Anyways, on the left side, there's one big pocket. And on the right side, there's two medium-sized pockets. Each bag is, a little, is uh, laid out a little bit differently. When you take into account these pockets, there's probably as much space as the Tama. But right away, you can see the spine on this bag. There's no added space to it. Right, it's just a regular spine. Come over here to the Tama, and you can see it's got like a book spine. There's a good two, one and a half, two inches of spine. And what that's going to do is that's going to give extra space to pile drumsticks in here and be able to close easily. Whereas with the Promark, Promark doesn't need it because it doesn't have any space for, for drumsticks anyway. But with this... This has a lot of space, a lot of give, but when you go to close it, it's gonna, it's gonna lie like this, as opposed to when you have that big spine and it close nice and tight. So anyways, um, take a look at the back. You got the branding right there. I guess, yeah, that's kind of weird. The, the shoulder strap doesn't go top to bottom. It goes top front to back on the top don't know if i like that any case that's the ahead bag aesthetically let's see how it works with stuff put in it and fixed to the drum set so i'm gonna just move my way over it's kind of a tight fit in this room it's probably one of the only things i don't like about it all right right away there's plenty of room from the floor to the top of the bag, there's a, a good five to six inches. And that's because this bungee is pretty strong. It's got a good, I don't know what the term is, tensile strength, but it's got very little give. In fact, when I first tried to put it on, I tried to put it, uh, I tried to put over here, this clip onto here, like I did with the Tama, then tried to put it on here, 
but there was no way. There was no way that that bungee was gonna stretch that far. So I tried putting it here and even that was a stretch and it brought these two together so that they were touching. That's how strong the tensile strength was. Right here, there's about a millimeter of give between the two lugs and that bungee just brought them together. So that wasn't gonna work. So instead I brought that over here and put this over here and it's just good enough. But at the same time, it keeps the bag high up as opposed to letting it sink a little bit. With a, the head bag is a non-issue. The zipper goes over very easily, in fact. So that's totally out of the way. Not gonna be an issue at all. Um, I can tell that this is probably not gonna hold as many sticks as the Tama bag. And the bungee, it's really hard to explain and to show you guys um, without being able to see what's going on. But this bungee is right here. So it's kind of keeping the bag here and, and the rest of the bag, because it's, you know, scored, the rest of the bag goes behind this bungee cord. So it's kind of weird. It's probably when I put a, st a pair of sticks in, I, I think it actually works out. <laughs> What's weird is, or not weird, but what actually ends up working out is the bungee pushes the stick out and because the stick is straight, it straightens out the bag. So yeah, that's actually kind of cool. It's a, it's a good, good physics going on right here. And anyways, I'm putting my sticks in there. Uh, let's see, let's, let's put the heads in front since this is in a, a head bag. I'm gonna put the, uh, these guys back here. Yeah, see how once I put a, sti a stick in the back, it kind of pushes the bag forward. I kind of like that. I'm gonna get my mallets, put my mallets in there. So we got room for our brush sticks in here. Yeah, it's starting to get pretty tight now. Here's my primary pair of sticks. I'll put that in the front. And my brushes I'll put over here. Definitely enough room to keep everything. It's a little awkward, I guess I'll say. The lay is a little bit awkward. The bag tilts. I don't know if there's a good angle. Instead of the bag being straight, up and down, it tilts in towards the drums. So it tilts this way. I, angles and cameras and, and 2D versus 3D, it just doesn't work. I can maybe fit two or three more pairs of sticks into this bag before it really starts getting too overcrowded. Probably still enough room for, uh, I would say that, without that. Uh, and it'd still be comfortable. As far as the overall and the grade for the head bag, I actually had higher hopes for this bag. To be honest, I thought I was gonna choose this bag over the Tama bag. The good things about this bag compensate for the bad things about the Tama bag and vice versa. On its own, I think I would rate the head bag a B minus. Nice try with the velvet. I think it's, in theory, it's really nice. It's, it's cool to have this. It feels good and whatnot, but after, depending on your drumstick usage, after a little while, this thing is just gonna be a mess and it's gonna get annoying uh, trying to keep it clean and whatnot. I mean, it's, it's already annoying with a regular bag, but this fabric is gonna catch the, the frayed ends of the, the stick a lot more than, than a regular bag, than just your regular canvas or whatever this material is. So it's a nice try with this, but I, I really think in the end, it's gonna be a, more annoying than something positive. The pockets, are good. I don't, I'm not gonna say great, but they're good. The space and the pockets and all that. The look is, I'm not a super fan. I don't hate it. I don't love it. This is probably a B minus. Uh, I, I would say that the, the Tama, while a little bit more expensive than this bag, hits a lot more points better than this bag. And I would definitely pay the extra four or five dollars for the Tama than save a little bit money on this bag. Although, you know, if that's a deciding factor, if price is a deciding factor, this is definitely a, a decent bag to have for 29 bucks. Would I buy this over the DW bag, which is $20, so a $10 difference? <sighs> that 
is probably a closer debate. And I would have to say if, uh, wow. If I was, if, if money was a factor, I would get the DW bag. If money wasn't a factor and you wanted to go with something that was a little bit bigger, I feel like, you know what? I feel like the DW bag and this bag probably holds the same amount of sticks, but this bag has better pockets so you can hold more auxiliary stuff. And this bag has um, a, a shoulder strap so you can hold it around your shoulder if that means anything. I think what this bag does better than the DW bag is that it has more compartments for auxiliary stuff, drum keys, you name it, whatever it is that you need to put into your drum bag other than drumsticks. If you're solely looking for a, a bag just to put your sticks in, call it a day, I think you're not going to go wrong with spending the $20 for the DW bag. You want something a little bit nicer? This is definitely a little bit nicer and affords a little bit more space for other stuff. I guess it just depends on what you're looking for in a stick bag. For me, because I'm a quote unquote artiste, I'm a graphic designer, looks tend to go a little bit further. And when I compare this bag to the Tama bag, the Tama bag wins head over heels 100 out of 100 times. Tama bag has more room. The Tama bag, you're able to adjust the Tom clips a lot easier than this. Now, some people might want a really rigid, tight fit. And in that case, this is hands down better. But if you want more flexibility, more playability, the Tama bag is better. I, I think I've come to my decision and let's review all of this in the final, final section of this video. Okay, so I'm back and I reviewed three bags and talked a lot about my original bag, the, the, the very first bag, the DW bag. And what are my final thoughts? So my final thoughts are, if you're looking for just a good utility bag that's cheap, the DW bag, in my opinion, is the way to go. It's $20, it can fit a good amount of sticks. I've toured with that thing, so I know that if I fill that thing up with sticks, it's good enough to last me uh, a small tour. Or if you're on a bigger tour, it'll last uh, a good portion of that tour, a, a nice leg of the tour. So I know that that bag is just going to, it's going to work no matter what. It's not going to break down for 20 years. I mean, that's a dollar a year, right? Can't go wrong. If you're looking for more in a stick bag, you want more compartments for other things. The a head bag is a good step. It's $29 and you're able to store a lot more things, uh, not just drum keys and whatnot. You can store a bunch of different things. You store your wallet, your phone. I, I actually remember when I was on tour with the Wooly Bandits, there were a few times where I, I had wished that that DW bag had more compartments. And would I spend an extra $10 to get those compartments with the head bag? Yes. I guess it just depends on where you are, what you're doing and what you need with the stick bag. The head bag is not a bad bag at all. It's definitely something that I can keep, that I could use. But then you go up one notch, and really I believe the Promark and the Tama are both the same price, give or take a dollar maybe. And they both look the best, but that's kind of where it ends. The, the Tama, hands down to me, wins out because it's got a ton of space, by far the most space out of all the, the four bags. And it has extra compartments, and it looks great. And you can hook it onto the Toms, and it really doesn't matter what space you've got going on between one tom or two toms. You can adjust those straps to fit the way you want it to on your tom. With the ahead, the bungee cord is really super strong. So you gotta kind of work with it. It doesn't work with you. Whereas the tama, the tama straps will definitely work with you. So going between the two, would I pay the extra three or four dollars to be able to have more control, a ton of more space for drumsticks, and a lot nicer looking bag? Absolutely. So for me, the hands down winner is the Tama, and I believe that I'll be happy using this bag for the next 20 years. I don't feel like I need to revert back to the DW bag. I don't feel I'll be losing out by giving away the ahead bag. And I definitely don't feel like I'll be losing out giving away the Promark bag. So if I were to rate the four bags, I would probably say Tama, 
And then I would actually say the ahead and the DW bag are probably tied really close. It just depends on what you're looking for. If money is uh, an issue, DW bag. Money's not an issue. You want more space for smaller things, ahead. And then at the bottom is the Promark bag. I really wanted to like the Promark bag. It's just I can't use it because of the handles. So I'll be giving away the Ahead drumstick bag and the Promark bag. I posted the rules onto my website. So check out my website. Really want to start get, getting more traffic on all of my other avenues, I guess. My website, my socials. So if you can, if you've, if you've got Instagram and Facebook, I'm on those too. Please give me a follow. Please sign up for the mailing list on my website and leave a comment either on this video or on uh, the video where I announced the giveaway. And I'll basically be taking all of that data, putting it into a randomizer to pick the two winners of the two bags. That is going to, that contest is going to end. Let me get my dates straight because I don't want to give any false information. I originally had the contest ending Monday, April 12th. I'm going to release this video Tuesday, April 13th. That's today for those of you that are watching it when it gets released. I'm going to extend the giveaway out to next Monday, the 19th. For all the rules, go to my website, check out the post that I made on the giveaway, and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this review, about the Promark review. Let me know what bag you want it, you choose. And if you're looking for a bag, let me know what you're looking for in a bag. Is it price? Is it capacity? Is it all the things that I mentioned? Are you looking for something else? If you own one of these bags, I'd really like to know what you think about those bags. So yeah, leave me a comment. Make sure you comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Give me one of these. I like these. Don't like these. Actually, I don't I don't mind these too because it makes me uh it makes me grow. Anytime that you think you know, there's always something to learn. And I want to learn. The more that people give me honest criticism and feedback, the more I can learn and grow as a YouTuber and a drummer and all of that stuff. So, comments keep them coming let me know what you think i'm glad that you you came and wanted to learn about these bags and go on this journey with me to try to find a solution to my stick bag dilemma i think i found it in this tama bag i highly recommend it for those of you looking for a great bag all around form and function function <laughs> a, a freudian slip of the, the tongue form and function at a pretty decent price, I would say this bag wins. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right, this is Cam Kendrum. Thank you for tuning in to Quality Control, a product review series by Cam Kendrum. I hope you enjoyed it. Cam Kendrum, signing off. Sayonara.